Colts tight end Brandon Williams had to be taken to a local hospital on Thursday after suffering a head injury against the Broncos. The injury occurred on a punt play at the beginning of the second quarter. Williams was attempting to block for Colts punter Rigoberto Sanchez when he got knocked to the ground by Broncos defender Deontras Mount. Williams' body appeared to go limp on the play, which Mount seemed to notice, and the Broncos defender reacted by softening Williams' fall. After Williams went down, the injury was so serious that he had to be put on a stretcher and carted off the field. However, before he was taken away, nearly everyone on the Colts bench came over to him at midfield in a show of support. According to the Colts, Williams was diagnosed with a head injury and taken to a local hospital. The Colts did announce that the was able to move his limbs before leaving the stadium and that he was only put on a stretcher for precautionary reasons. Brandon Williams was placed on a stretcher during the first half against the Broncos. NFL NBC One thing concerning about Williams' injury is that he does have a pre-existing spinal condition. During his college career at Oregon, he was diagnosed with spinal stenosis and narrowing of the spine and ruled medically ineligible by the school. After going undrafted, Williams eventually latched on with the Carolina Panthers in 2013. The Indianapolis tight end has been in the NFL for five seasons and is in his first year with the Colts.